uh, this is a pretty good curve. This is a pretty good curve, I will say. And we even get to value reset our gemstone mine here. So are you ready for this X-Whale? Chalice of the Void on one. Pass. Hello and welcome, everybody. We are here for match two with the list that you see on screen. We're doing some crazy stuff. We got four gemstone mines. We got some hive mines. We got chalices in the sideboard. And before any of you comment it, I do know that Chalice of the Void and Hive Mind is a bit of a non-bow, as it'll counter any Summoner's Pact or Pact Negation or Slaughter Pact that we cast, and our opponent as well. So I'm aware of that, and I will not be making the mistake of boarding in Chalice without boarding out the Hive Minds, obviously. But um, yeah, we're here to play some interesting and experimental Primeval Titan magic. And if you are not familiar with this list and some of the reasoning behind the card choices, then check out match one, where I will cover in detail what's going on. I will not be going over that here. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump straight into match two here. Alrighty, let's hop in for the match. wonder what happens if we get paired with the Amulet Mirror. That would be kind of strange. Playing as X-Whale will be on the play. Oh man, they have no clue what's coming. We see Luris. Wouldn't be surprised if this was a prowess deck. Let's go ahead and ship back the all-land Titan hand. Got a turn one grazer kind of hand. Garenbrig to speed up our Titan even further. Got tons of untapped sources, so we're definitely going to keep this. Probably just getting rid of this pack of negation. I can see that. And, of course, we'll lead on the grazer. Not off of the gemstone mine. That would be a mistake. And we can even preserve our bounce land here, since we have an untapped source to cast a three drop if we draw it. Otherwise, we can just play our growth chamber. Lumimancer, all right. There's our three drop. Well, we'll definitely cast this. Uh, this is a pretty good curve. This is a pretty good curve, I will say. And we even get to value reset our gemstone mine here. So, all right. Well, yeah, let's see what our opponent has. We get to just resolve a Titan and get some Valakut triggers this upcoming turn. So we might even just get like Valakut and a Talari West so that if our opponent double bolts our Titan, we'll still have a chance at either drawing another Titan or say a bounce land or something so that we can find a Titan that way. We definitely could see that. Our opponent's on tons of one-drops. We'll go ahead and take our chump block here with the Grazer. No reason to take a huge chunk of damage this turn if we can avoid it. Lava Dart. All right. Grazer down. We'll float a Dryad-colored mana here so we don't have to use our Gemstone Mine for our counter. And we'll slam this Titan. There's also some argument to getting a bounce land into Valakut here. Our opponent just scoops it up. Never mind. There's no argument at all. You just resolve the Titan and that's good enough. Right? We get to test out our Chalice tech here. And we have Explosives and Dismember for this matchup. Not a huge fan of Swan Song. There could be Blood Moons to worry about. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll bring in A Force and A Sage just to kind of combat that if it exists. Pack Negation not looking great. Slaughter Pact actually looking pretty decent though. What can we trim? Hive Mind. I mean, our opponent can't pay for a pack. And it's nice to be able to resolve a Hive Mind and just immediately win without having to worry about our Titan getting double bolted. But it may not really be necessary. I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested in cutting Hive Mind, especially since we're bringing Chalice. Although, we're not going to be putting Chalice on zero, is the thing. Chalice is to be played on one here. That said, I don't really want to cut any of our one drops for that reason either. It's kind of weird. I, I feel like we should be playing Hive Mind, but I guess it also means that we can copy our opponent's bolts and lava darts and stuff. I don't know. I, it's it's very strange. I kind of think we're supposed to hold on to the Hive Minds, but <laughs> who knows? Who can really say? It's We're playing Hive Mind and Amulet, so <laughs> maybe we trim an Azusa here since it's weak to bolt type effect. I think we are supposed to trim Hive Mind, actually. I'd like to play it, but this is a very fast and aggressive. Actually, I don't know, though, because I feel like Hive Mind is a two-card combo, whereas Titan is a one-card combo, one card combo, so it's probably right not to be leaning too heavily on Hive Minds here. We'll play one. Just, just We'll just play one. How about that? Um, I'm not going to bring in the Force until we know for sure there's Blood Moon, especially having won game one. It's just how I feel like rolling today. I feel like we can trim one Breeding Pool pretty safely, so we don't have to pay a bunch of life. And maybe one Summoner's Pact. And, uh, geez, I don't even know what else. 
The th awkward thing about Slaughter Pact is we really only have one rot farm and four gemstone mines to pay for it. I guess we can also rely on Dryad, perhaps, but... I don't know. We gotta cut one more. Cutting cards on this list is hard. I really want to play this hive mind. Oh, I really want to play the hive mind. It's probably wrong. Mm, I don't know what else to cut. I don't know. It'll cut the cavern. Probably wrong. I'm playing a hive mind. You can't stop me. It's happening. Whew, we got a chalice. We get to tur go turn one amulet, turn two second amulet chalice on one. Or, you know, potentially just tighten our opponent, so we'll snap keep this one. They will not be expecting the chalice. Guaranteed. Oof. Chalice on zero could have been good against this one. All right. And if only we could have access to Simeon Spear Guide here to put Chalice on one on turn one. <laughs> or is that just asking too much? I mean, to be honest, we've got a double amulet draw, so we probably are asking too much for something like that. I do think it's going to be right to go ahead and get a amulet out right now, though. So let's just do it. Pass it back. See if our opponents can beat a Chalice on one. And just yield through this turn very patiently. We can actually play second amulet and then Valcut cut and chalice on one off of the two untaps we get for the Valcut. cut. So kiln fiend, perhaps. Manamorphose. Okay. We just don't want them to play another creature here if we can avoid it. Lava dart. Okay. Light up the stage, probably. No. Just lava dart path. Okay. That we can deal with. All right, let's play our second amulet here so we don't get it countered underneath our own chalice. And we'll play this. And uh, five, just to make sure there's no yields. I don't think I set a yield to amulet, though, so probably not super worried about it. Are you ready for this X-Whale? Chalice of the Void on one. Half. They can't even Shattering Spree this. A lot of these lists will play Shattering Spree because the copies will get counted by Lumamancer. And this one can't get Shattering Spreed. That's pretty cool. They put Luris in hand. Swing for two. All right, here comes the Titan. I think we just got him this game. <laughs> All right, well. Too bad we have to sacrifice our gemstone mine. It is a price that I am willing to pay, however. We'll pick up the Valcut here, just so we have maximum amount of mana in play. And now we just have the Boros Garrison Slayer Stronghold and Sun Home Kill. So that match was extremely easy. Don't know how much work, if any, that Chalice on one did. But uh, <laughs> what is going on today, y'all? Anyways, I'm already having a lot of fun playing this list. Gemstone Mine already showing its teeth here as just being an untapped source. The, the perfect untapped source. And... I have nothing else to say about this match. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Red Face Menace, signing off.